You are welcome to another video of the course network automation and service orchestration using Cisco NSO. Web graphical user interface is another method for accessing and managing Cisco NSO which will be discussed in this section. We will see some of the components of the web GUI, especially those that we have checked through the CLI in the previous sections. We will check how to show or change the configuration of network devices through the graphical user interface and how to commit and roll back the configuration changes. When you install Cisco NSO, you can connect to the software also through the web GUI with the default port 8080 and the default username and password admin and admin. There are a few important components on the home page which you can return to at any time by clicking Cisco icon in the device manager. Again, in the Cisco icon, we will return back to the home page. All these components are also available in the bottom section of the web GUI on all web pages. We won't discuss all of the components existing in this section but we will review some of them that we have already discussed through the CLI in the previous sections. In the beginning, device manager. Through the device manager section, we can manage network devices, including check the connectivity, connecting NSO to the network devices, and finally, comparing and synchronizing the configuration between NSO and network devices. Through the commit manager, you can apply the configuration changes and also roll back the configuration to the interesting point. With alarm manager, you can see the details of any probable error and alarms and the details of that. And through the configuration editor, we can display and also change the configuration of network devices. There are two versions of the configuration editor, configuration editor and configuration editor 2, the old one and the new one, which is the version 2. To better understand web GUI components, let's start with the device manager. In the device manager section, we see the list of all devices with ping we can make sure that they are available and now rotor r1 is also available with connect we can verify the connectivity from nso to network devices to take action against more than one devices at a time you can select them all of them or the devices that you are interested manage them and then select the desired action from the action menu for example ping or connect We check sync, we check the configuration sync status between NSO and network devices. Let's check the sync status of the network devices. Now let's intentionally configure a network device directly and then again check the sync status in GUI interface in the rotor r1 i will configure a new interface loopback interface interface loopback 101 and one ip address 101 101 101 and 101 and 4 255 and then again we check the status of the 
configuration synchronization between Cisco and SO and network device with clicking again with check sync. As you can see, the configuration is not more sync between NSO and device and device rotor R1. A new alarm related to the sync error should be added in the alarm manager section as you can see out of sync of the rotor R1 and with clicking operational data you can check the details of the alarm then we can use compare config in device manager to see what is exactly the difference between network device configuration and NSO configuration. As you see, it shows that the network interface loopback 101 and the IP address must be added in Cisco NSO so they will be synced. Now there are two options, sync from to copy the configuration from network device to Cisco NSO and sync to to copy the configuration from Cisco NSO to network devices. Sync to is used when you change the configuration temporarily for troubleshooting, but you want to revert the configuration of network device to the state of Cisco NSO. For example, here I use sync to option so that interface loopback 102 is deleted from the network device. Then we check again the sync status. It is expected that the configuration is synced now. And again, we check the compare config and the configuration must also be exactly the same. As you see, there is no configuration difference between NSO and network device. In the section configuration editor or the new version configuration editor, Two, we can display or change the configuration in the home page in the NCS devices and the uh, interesting device rotor R1, for example, and then the option config here, device R1, and then the option config. And the interesting part of the configuration, like in the config tab and then here for example iOS interface and the interesting interface look back interface 100 and then IP and then address and then primary here you can see the IP address of interface look back in the Yang data model in the top left also shows the path to get to each part of the configuration in Yang data model. Here in widgets on the top right of the Cisco NSO web GUI, you can choose different output format to view the configuration in various output format such as XML, JSON, NetConf and ResConf, for example, JSON format or XML format or netconf or restconf pass and the original native format. To change the configuration, we choose the edit config option. Then we are allowed to change the configuration. For example, for five, six, instead of seven, I use eight or the mask. 255. When we change the configuration, that section will change the color to the green, which means the configuration has changed but needs to be committed. To apply the configuration, we go to the commit manager section. In the tab pass, you see the pass in Yang data model in which the configuration has changed the configuration of the IP address and also the subnet mask. You see also the old value and the new value of the configuration. 
in the config tab you see the removing configuration in the red color and the new configuration in green color and also in native config tab you can see that actual configuration changes in CLI environment then with pressing the commit button you can apply the new configuration changes yes commit you see there is nothing more here it means that there is no configuration changes and if we check again the configuration of the IP address you see the configuration has changed to 8 instead of 7 and also the mask has changed in the commit manager section you have also the capability to roll back the configuration click of load and save button then you can choose the rollback number to see the changes there is also the option here selective that we talked about in the previous section you see the configuration will be reverted back to the previous version again 7 instead of 8 and again the subnet mask s-24 instead of s-32 with pressing the load button you can roll back the configuration the new configuration changes again must be applied you can see here the new configuration changes as you can see 7 and the mask will be replaced with the old configuration again you have to press the commit button to apply the new changes which revert the configuration back to the original version what we learned in this section are some of the important sections of the NSO web GUI but how to apply a configuration template to multiple devices or how to change service or how to manage service orchestration through the Cisco NSO are the concepts that we will learn in the next sections here service manager is used for managing service orchestration